What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where we enjoy all things creative because I'm a creative myself and thanks to the ultimate creator himself and this is Creativity with Chris. I am all about music creativity and fine arts and I do a lot of music reaction videos and they're so common. I'm not the only one who does them obviously, uh, but they're becoming more and more common as new music comes out, whether it's music reaction videos, um, whether vocal teachers analyze music videos, whether it's game reactions and, and gamers react to new games that come out, whatever it may be, reaction videos are a common thing on YouTube. And today I want to show you exactly how I do reaction videos using a platform called StreamYard. So without any more distractions, without any more delay, let's get into it right now. I actually started out doing reaction videos just kind of basic. You know, I was recording with my phone. I had a just a plug-in mic that I use that you can buy off of the online store, whether it be Amazon or um, e not eBay. Who uses eBay? Walmart, Target, you know, they're just a pretty simple plug-and-play uh, mic that you can use on your phone before I got this awesome thing, which I'll have another video coming out on it. But when I found StreamYard, it became so, 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 so much simpler to just go in and record because you can pull in the audio from the video you are trying to react to. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, so let's get into it right now. So here I am on the home screen of my account with StreamYard, and you're gonna to go to broadcast. If you have a StreamYard account, you create a broadcast, right? Click new broadcast. So you have the option and the opportunity to broadcast and stream to multiple platforms. Um, right now, obviously, I just do YouTube, but I have set up my Facebook page there in case I want to do both, but you can add so many multiple destinations. Um, what I'm gonna to do today though is just record only. This is what I do when I do my music reaction videos. I just do record only. Um, you place your title. Goober. <laughs> and then you're good to go. Once you enter your title, it'll take you to the broadcast studio. But before you can enter there, you have the option to set up your studio. So you can choose your mic, you can choose your cam. Obviously, I'm still in the beginning stages of my channel. And so thankfully I was just able to update and upgrade to this amazing mic, but I'm still using just either my phone, camera, an iPhone, or I just simply use the MacBook uh, camera. But what you can do if you do want to change your camera is you click on settings, you go to camera, and you choose from the list. I do have um, another option here in case I want to use my phone screen. I have this webcam option to where I can just plug in my phone and it'll pull my phone camera into the uh, MacBook destination. But most of the time I just use the um, FaceTime or the HD camera that is used in the MacBook itself already. Then you can go to audio and you can choose your mic. If you have an external mic that you use, that you have plugged into it, then you would click on it and it'd be good to go. Now, here's the thing that some people kind of get stuck up on. I haven't seen many tutorials on how to do music reaction videos or voice reaction videos through StreamYard. And so I want to try to give you as much detail as I can. So if you are enjoying it so far, go ahead and click the like button. If you enjoy music, creativity, and fine arts, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So when you get to this part right here, you want to make sure that echo cancellation is not checked. The reason for that is because we're going to pull audio through the platform you're using to react to. And if it is on, it will actually pick up through the speakers and through the mic and it'll almost give it like a distorted sound. So you do not want echo cancellation on. As far as the mic volume, you can automatically adjust it or you can have it unchecked and you control it yourself. It's completely up to you. I usually leave it on, but make sure echo cancellation is turned off. If you use the StreamYard platform and you do music reaction videos, you want that turned off if you are using an external mic plugged in when you do reaction videos. Other than that, you're good to go. They do have virtual background, but we're not gonna talk about that, so let's go. Next step, once you get the studio set up, you're good to go, you enter in, right? Lots of information here that I'm not going to talk about. This is strictly a video teaching you how to do music reactions through StreamYard. So I'm not going to talk about a lot of things for that. But once you're good to go, you come up to the right hand corner and click record. 
and boom, your recording has started. No need to screen record your laptop because it's recording already right here. This entire thing is being recorded and at the end of the broadcast, you can download the file. So once you enter into the studio, there are actually two ways that you can share a video into the recording that you are broadcasting. I do it this way because we had the echo cancellation turned off when we were setting up the studio, I come to this button down here that says share and you can share a screen. What this allows is for you to bring in another tab or another window into the broadcast. Now, here's the next thing. As far as music reactions are concerned, you want to come over to Chrome tab and choose the tab there. Do not choose window, do not choose entire screen. You want to come over to Chrome tab and make sure the tab that you have selected, you have this tab where it says share tab audio, make sure that box is checked because if it's not, then your audio is not gonna share and you gonna have a problem when you do music reaction videos. So make sure it's checked, okay? <laughs> then once that's checked, you click share, bada bing, bada boom. This tab is now being shared with StreamYard. I do usually have two desktops or two monitors hooked up. That way it does not get confusing when I'm doing music reaction videos. I have my main screen for the communication with my viewers and then I have the other monitor for the reaction itself. Once you have that pulled up, then you can pull in whatever video you are trying to react to. So if you just choose a random video, it will pull through the audio to the screen because it is being shared now. Now, the great thing about StreamYard is that you can have a different layout with your broadcast. So as you can see now, I have added myself to the screen here. And right now you see both the picture of me and the video or the tab that you are sharing in the same broadcast. There's multiple tabs down here at the bottom at StreamYard where you can choose if you just want to show your own self. If you're talking and you don't need a tab shared, you can also choose an option to where it has you and the screen on, on the same broadcast with different sizes though. So you can mess around and play with the different looks that you want as far as the broadcast is concerned. You can take yourself away completely and just show the tab that you're wanting to share. So there's multiple options with that that you can do, which I think is really cool um, when it comes to the StreamYard platform. And it's very easy to control. You can actually even transition without using the mouse. You can simply use the keypad, the uh, hotkeys, if you will, which may take some getting used to, but it is super helpful, especially if you have multiple layouts and you're using the mouse for that, to simply use the hotkeys to make transitions. Once you are done with your broadcast or your reaction video or whatever you are doing as far as reaction is concerned, you hit in broadcast and then you are good to download the video. So you come back, it'll take you back to the dashboard of the homepage. You click past and you click on the video that you are trying to download. Gabriel, <laughs> come over here and click download recording and you click video recording. Don't just click audio recording unless you just want the audio. But since we're doing music reactions, right? We want the video as well. So you click download next to the video recording and you're good to go. The great thing that I love about this too is that since the audio is already pulled into the broadcast, there is no editing involved when it comes to the post-production. Really the only biggest thing that you may have to work on, which this is actually pre-production, is the volume adjusting. Making sure that the mic is not softer than the music, making sure it's balanced well, that it's not overpowering. That way when you are talking, for my videos, right, I analyze and I teach. That's something that I'm still working on and getting used to. It's making sure that the volume is balanced enough to where if I am talking over the music and explaining something, my viewers can hear me. But other than that, there is no editing involved because the music is aligned already with the video and it makes it so much easier. So pretty much the only other thing that you would have to do is add your intros, your bumpers, your ending credits, whatever you have. If you have any music you want to add underneath, other than that, you're pretty much ready for it to upload to YouTube. Lastly, the thing that I would say for you when it comes to music reaction videos or whatever reaction videos you are doing is to have fun with it. Be yourself in your reaction videos. With me, I am a teacher, but I'm also a comedian at heart. My personality is pretty wild, and so I add that into my reaction videos that I do. 
You want to have fun with it. You don't just want to be a stickler. You want to be different and stand out from other reactors. And so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out StreamYard, check out the links below for that link. You can check it out. I promise you, you will enjoy it. I have enjoyed it so much and I'm excited to continue to use it in the future. And if you want to learn more about StreamYard and how I use it and other programs for my benefit as a content creator and musical person on YouTube, then you're going to want to hit the subscribe button and stick around on my channel. And while you wait, why not watch some awesome music reaction videos? That's it for this one. I'll catch you next time. Be blessed. Peace.